Hello, it's Phil Thatch and Heather and I are here at Volkswagen Wetlands, one of our favorite wildlife photography places. And we started just up the road at the equestrian trail and the only thing we got up there was a mockingbird. So let's take a look at the mockingbird. And uh, we're using, I'm using the Canon R6 and the 800 F11 and Heather's using the Nikon Z50 and the 200 to 500. And I'm vlogging today with the Nikon ZFC and the 16 to 50 kit lens. But let's look at the mockingbird photos. We were excited at first just to see a bird because we drove around for a little while without seeing anything. And there was this beautiful mockingbird with perfect sunlight on it. And I made this photograph and Heather made this photograph. Now we both made lots and lots of photographs, but we each just picked one to share with you. And I think both of these turned out pretty good. Okay, so next we came down here to Volkswagen Wetlands, this beautiful little marsh area down here. And uh, see, isn't it awesome? It's a wetland and there's lotus flowers and all sorts of cool stuff down there. And I got a picture of a Phoebe, an Eastern Phoebe, probably not any good. And uh, we've, in the past, we've done lots of uh, bullfrog photography, but we haven't seen many this year, but uh, we found a couple. So we made some bullfrog photos. And then right over here, there's some vegetation just over that way, and I happened to look over and see a mockingbird. Not a mockingbird. I happened to look over, look over and see a hummingbird flying around there, and it flew around long enough for me to make a few shots, and I believe this is the first time I've ever gotten a picture of a mockingbird that wasn't either perched or flying with a bird feeder just out of the shot, so pretty excited about that shot. I've zipped my shutter speed up to 1 3200th of a second for those photos. What you working on now, Miss Heather? Froggies. You still working on froggies? Yeah, I like froggies. All right, well, let's, let's look at those photos of the hummingbirds and the frogs and maybe a Phoebe from down here and Heather and I will keep on working. I only shared one bullfrog photo. This is an American bullfrog and I liked the way the light was shining on this one in particular. And then Heather made a number of photographs of this one. Look how cute it is there on that. I guess that's a lotus flower pad, not a lily pad. And here it is. Uh, she's made this photograph and it's taking its hind leg and scratching its back. So that's a kind of unique shot. And here is another photograph. Look at the beautiful bullfrog. And I love the way the water beads on those pads. That's really, really cool. And then this is, this shot of Heather's is of the same frog that I photographed in the very first of our bullfrog photographs. Here it is, the ruby-throated hummingbird. I'm guessing this is probably a female, and it is over there getting on those flowers to get some nectar. And you know, I, I made a number of photographs of it, and it was just a few seconds that it was there. And I started out at 1 400th of a second, because that's where the camera was. And then I realized quickly that I needed a lot more speed and my sun angle was good, so I zipped the camera all the way up to 1 3200th of a second. And this was the photo that I thought came out the very best. And if you look closely, there's a bumblebee on one of the flowers. And there's also some other sort of a bug on one of the other flowers. And there's some beautiful purple flowers in the background. A nice golden hour light. I was thrilled with this photograph. I spotted a couple of butterflies right here. I'm using the 800 millimeter lens, and it has a horrible minimum focus distance. But I pointed them out to Heather so she could work on getting a shot with the 200 to 500 and the Z50. I also have my 100 to 500 in the car. I may go get and put that on and make a butterfly shot of my own, but for right now, I'll just goof around with the video camera. I never did switch lenses and take any photographs at all myself of the butterflies, but I knew Heather had the Nikon Z50 and the 200 to 500, which is a really good butterfly photography combination. And here's the photograph she made of those two butterflies. I, I guess they were mating. I'm not really sure how that works, uh, but I think they were mating and really beautiful colors. And if you just look at these glancing at them, you'll say, well, those are monarchs. But I believe these are a butterfly called a viceroy. It's got a little bit different pattern on its wings. And this photo of an individual of the pair, you can really see that it is a Viceroy if you're Googling and looking at the differences between those two. 
we ran across some pileated woodpecker, pileated, pileated, however you say it. Uh, one of them flew by and I took a million shots. I have the electronic shutter on, so I'm shooting 20 frames per second. And it's super tiny in the frame, so I don't know if I got any. And then uh, I found them again. They, they came back, we noticed that they landed over here. We were shooting up there where it's less uh, blocked by trees. And I came down to this one little clearing here and I could see all the way across to two pileated work peck, uh, two of them on that tree over there, but two females. And I made a whole lot of shots of them and I hollered for Heather to come down and did you, did you make some shots of them too? Yeah, I've got a number of shots. <laughs> <laughs> you got, a, got a few. Okay, and so, uh, so that's what we did and let's look at the pileated woodpecker shots now. Okay, we'll start off with an in-flight shot of a pileated woodpecker as it's flying there across the air above Volkswagen wetlands. And when it landed, it landed on this tree so, so far away. This shot is heavily, heavily cropped, but it's always a thrill to see a pileated woodpecker. And then this is when we went down, or when I walked down to that clearing, and there were two, both of them females, best I can tell. And they were both working around looking for something to eat on this same tree. I thought it was really cool. And they worked on that tree for quite some time. And all of these shots that I'm showing you are cropped all the way down to where they fit perfectly on a 4K screen. So that's cropped a lot from 20 megapixels, except this one. On this one, I just cropped the top and the bottom off. So this one is smashed down quite a bit. But the other ones, you were looking at them one-to-one -one pixels. And then I went up and made that video clip and let Heather have her hand at it. And she made some nice photographs of the woodpeckers there. That one was cool with its wings out, but there's the same two ladies working on that same tree and they stayed there for quite some time. And this is only the second time I believe that Heather's ever photographed a pileated woodpecker. So that's really cool that she got a chance to see them. I was thrilled that they stayed there for a long time. And when I walked back up to the car to get the car and bring it down to Heather, I made that video clip that was just before the woodpecker shots. And I looked over and there was this beautiful Eastern Phoebe and I made a number of photographs of it, and this one was the very best one. Well, it's hard to see it with this Nikon ZFC vlogging camera because it can see in the dark just about, but we are seriously running out of daylight, and uh, I, you know, it turned out pretty good. We came down here and didn't think we were gonna get anything, and next thing you know, we're taking a bunch of pictures of a boring old mockingbird, and uh, we ended up getting some pictures of some pretty cool stuff, so that was definitely worth coming out for a couple of hours. And we really appreciate you joining us down here at Volkswagen Wetlands, kind of in the Chattanooga area. So thanks for watching. If you like the content, hit thumbs up, subscribe, and all that stuff that YouTubers are always begging for. And as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.